Hi everyone, Elliot Jacobson here for Climate Casino, December 21st, 2022. I think we're near the first day of winter, so I am going to talk today about some of the wagers that I have on the Climate Casino website. I make these wagers as a way of talking about the probabilities of future events and also to let the market sort of weigh in on what uh, your thoughts are on these events. So we are generally talking about events that are part of the gradual collapse of the planet, the, the climate emergency, um, and everything that goes along with that. So um, yeah, let me just go ahead and show you what's going on on my website. Here it is. So I have this website called Watching the World Go By. It's my blog. ClimateCasino.net is where you can find it. And if you go through the tabs, you'll see here the second tab is the Climate Casino. So on this um, particular um, page, I talk about various wagers. So these wagers have to do with some of the catastrophic events that are going on now and also some that I'm predicting for the near future. Um, what I did is I originally just put these wagers up and I wasn't taking any kind of fake bets with these. And over time, what I did is I evolved to um, every time I would put one of these open wagers up here, I would create a Twitter poll. Um, and so many of these sort of have um, closed wagering on them. I'm not taking any more fake bets on them, but you can see where people are weighing in on the various um, wagers I've made. Now, as Twitter sort of falls apart, I may actually have to move these either to just um, write with a poll right on my site or maybe onto Mastodon. So time will tell exactly what's going to go on with these um, wagers. I'm not sure yet, but let's just go through some of these. So the total wildfire acres burned in the, in the U.S. Uh, in 2022 will set a new record. I don't think so. I uh, This was at the beginning of the year. I put this up, and, uh, you know, you never know what a year will bring. We've had some really high fire years in the past few years, so the record was a little bit over 10 million acres in the year 2020. And so, you know, you could imagine the start of the year, we're going to see whether we get more or less than that. But if we actually click on the link, um, I have it right here. We can see that the year to date, this year is 7.45 million acres. So on this particular wager, we are definitely going to hit the under, right? We're going to get less than that. Um, and again, I didn't allow any wagering on this. This was sort of before I figured out what I was going to do here. All right, so let's just go on. The next record is going to be the carbon dioxide monthly maximum at Mauna Loa in 2023 is less or more than 424 parts per million. For those of you who follow the um, sort of uh, the curve, what's going on with CO2, and you are um, really want to know exactly uh, up to date on what's changing in our atmospheric chemistry, you can find that over here um, at the website, gml.noaa.gov. You can find uh, links to this data. And I go to the trends in CO2. Now, unfortunately, we have this volcanic eruption, and I hope it doesn't continue too long because then I won't be able to resolve this wager. Um, but we have this curve right here, which is are the CO2 measurements every single year at this Mauna Loa Observatory. And you can notice here last year it peaked out, I think, 420.99 parts per million. So the question, this wager is whether this value will get above, above 424 parts per million. Now, typically, this um, maximum occurs sometime in April or May. Um, and so will we get the Mauna Loa data back up and running before then? Honestly, I don't know at this point. But... That is the wager, and I think um, my per personal sense of this is that it will fall below just slightly for 23 and a half or something like that. But at any rate, if we look at the wagering on this particular bet, you see that 77.1% of all people uh, actually wagered that they thought it would break the 424. So the Climate Casino is very happy about this particular bet. I do think that we are going to win some fake money on it. Likewise, I have a, um, a bet on global uh, methane maximum in 2023. 
Do I think that'll be more or less than 1932? Again, I set these values, 1932, kind of on the high side because the people who make these uh, fake wagers tend to be a little bit on the doomer side, and so they tend to bet the over, in other words, that things will happen um, faster and be more dramatic than uh, usually they will end up being. Um, so here we go. Uh, again, you see most people, 81.9, think we're going to exceed this value. So we'll see. I uh, This betting is closed, and uh, I don't know what's going to happen on this, but we will see um, when we get to resolve this exactly what goes on. So, all right, that is global methane. Again, we can find that data right here if we go back to this other side. Um, we can find the methane data right up here, trends in CH4. So this is going to be where I see whether this value here goes above 19, what did I say, 1932? Um, boy, that is a pretty high value for that wager. Um, but we'll see what happens, right? Uh, it's been going up very, very quickly. So we will see on that. All right, um, the next one. The record low Antarctic sea ice uh, is going to be reached in 2023. Now, this is when I think I might lose this bet because um, Arctic, the Antarctic sea ice is disappearing very, very quickly in the warming season. So if we actually go to the latest data on this and we click on the Antarctic, you can see right here that we are definitely in record low territory. And the question is, are we going to beat this low record that happened just in 2022? Are we going to get below this low um, next year in 2023 and set yet another new record low for Antarctic sea ice? I kind of think we will. I, my instinct is I'm, uh, that we will hit that. And let's just see what the betting is on that. Um, so hang on. Yeah, most people think that we're going to hit a new low. So you see, I, I gave odds of one to two. So right now, that 76% would win, what is that, 38 fake dollars? So I would, if that happens, um, I would lose 38 fake dollars to those people who won the bet, and I would win the 24 fake dollars from uh, those who lost. So I reconcile these sometimes in terms of odds. And in this case, I do have odds because I think this thing is going to actually happen. All right, we go on. La Nina or El Nino during the three-month period, November uh, 22 to January 23. Believe me, it's not El Nino, right? When I gave this one, it, we, you know, there was some indication maybe an El Nino would start. Well, you notice Again, this is one I put out very early in the year, and so it does not have the, um, the poll associated with it, which is a good thing because I think most people would have bet El Nino and lost. All right, just a couple more, all right? I don't want to go through all these, um, but let me just do a couple more. Global temperatures rising 1.3 C for the full year 2023. I just put this one up there right now. I, really, the last thing I did before I'm creating this video was to create this particular wager because the um, Met Office, the UK weather, just said that, that they expect 2023 to be one of the hottest, if not the hottest year on record on planet Earth. The point being that La Nina... This thing has been hanging around for about three years, is coming to an end. They expect it to transition to neutral and then possibly even El Nino conditions by the end of next year, which should make a very hot planet uh, happen. So the question is just how hot. The previous global record was in 2016. We had 1.21 C above um, the global uh, 1850 to 1900 um, baseline. So Will we break the 1.21 and go all the way up to 1.3? I think 1.3 is really a nice um, point because I expect it's going to be slightly under than that, that, but I think most people are going to bet the over. So if you want to, this is open for the next seven days through the 28th of December. You can actually make a bet, a fake bet. So here, let's just see what the current betting is. And you see right now, um, I have 81.8% of people taking the over on 1.3. So the Climate Casino is happy about this right now. I think that it might be 1.25 to 1.28 in that range. So uh, yeah, we're feeling good about winning that fake bet. And then I have the 1.5C for the full year 2024. Again, this is based on two things. First of all, the IPCC said uh, a while back um, 
that the expectation was about a 50-50 that we would have one year uh, breaking 1.5C before or uh, uh, the year 2027. So roughly now through 2026, about a 50-50 chance of one of those years breaking 1.5C. Now, El Nino is actually very likely to happen um, later in 2023 going into 2024. And if that happens, then the year 2024 will get the full heating from the El Nino. So I actually have a poll. Do we think that the year that we break 1.5 for the first time will be um, 2024? Again, I tend to think not ever so slightly, but let's see what people think. Here's the Twitter link on the betting. Again, most people, 71%, are taking the over on this. And the Climate Casino is pretty happy about this because I think it's going to be a little bit below in 2024. But it's certainly going to be a record hot year if this El Nino comes to pass. All right, let's just see. I have another one. World population um, on January 1st, 2026. you know, this is a uh, even money bet that the world population will be over or under 8 billion. We just passed 8 billion. So um, the question is, will there be enough sort of uh, collapse uh, related stuff happening between now and 2026 so that the population growth is offset by catastrophes, uh, catastrophic deaths? I hope not. I actually hope we have more than 8 billion because it would be a very sad world if this sort of stuff came down in the next couple of years. All right, I have another one. I actually asked people to wager on the World Cup happening in 2026. And believe it or not, um, you know, there's a, a lot of people who think that civilization is going to come to an end or collapse, a global industrial civilization will collapse fast enough so that we don't have a World Cup in 2026. So here's the betting. I'm actually making six to one odds that we will have a World Cup in 2026, that the world will last long enough. So betting no that there isn't a World Cup would pay six to one. Your $1 fake bet would win you six. Betting on yes pays one to six. So your $1 fake bet will pay about 17 cents if the 2026 World Cup happens. So here is the betting on that. Um, and so you see that that I could lose a lot of money if there's no world, a lot of fake money if there's no World Cup in 2026. So kind of interesting betting on this one. Um, 60% of the people think the world is going to last long enough so that we do have this World Cup. But those 39.7%, if you guys are correct and there is no 2026 World Cup, oh my. That will be some sort of planet. And it's funny, you know, you compare that with the 8 billion. And honestly, um, if there's no World Cup in 2026, then there also won't be 8 billion people on this planet, right? So something very bad would have to happen to make that be the future. So let's see if there's any others that I have a a Twitter wager on. Um, Yeah, there's one more. This is the peak global CO2. What year will peak global CO2 happen? So, you know, CO2 is continuing to rise. There are two reasons that it can max out. The first reason is that we go green, right? We stop burning fossil fuels. We transition to clean and green net zero. And so we hit a maximum CO2. We stop, essentially stop emitting and let the natural sinks of CO2 start drawing it down. Um, The other possibility is global industrial civilization collapse and we could have, um, you know, a very fast uh, global population decline. And that could also lead us to having um, peak CO2. So the question is, when do we think peak CO2 is going to happen? And so I have wagering on this and my over under is 450 parts per million, right? So so roughly in the year 2040 to 2050 is, is when this would happen. So this poll is going to have to last a long time, right? Most people think we're going to break 450 before uh, we hit the peak. And um, yeah, so this is, what is this, uh, uh, an even money bet. So you can think about that when it's uh, unlikely yours truly will be around to pay that, pay that off in fake dollars. I also have a number of resolved wagers, if you might enjoy just scrolling through those. If you have an idea for a wager, please put it in the comments or um, 
post it on Twitter, or you can find me now on Mastodon, on Toad Social, at Elliot Jacobson, at Toad Social. So let me know your idea for a fake wager, and I will try and put some odds on that and um, let the Twitter um, people or whoever wants to make their wager on that. All right, let's just see where we're going here. Okay, everybody, so that is an introduction to my climate casino. At some point, it would be nice if I could get somebody out there in the, the whole sphere of people who design websites and interfaces to actually turn this into a concrete betting market where we could you know, have sort of people really who are paying attention on a global scale have access to this and start uh, sort of crowdsourcing the opinions on these particular events. Because certainly my audience tends to sway towards doomers, and doomers tend to think it's going to happen faster and be worse. Well, history proves that most of the time it is faster and worse than expected, but um, with regard to these wagers, people, in my opinion, are tending to bet even faster than faster and even worse than worse. And I set the lines appropriately because, after all, I am in the casino industry and I want to make some fake money out of my um, fake wagers. So, all right, everyone. Um, glad you stuck with me to the end of this. And I hope you enjoyed looking through these wagers. Uh, hope to hear from you. So, this is Elliot Jacobson. See you later.